U.S. forces occupation of South Korea is the root cause of Korea's division. At present, the Korean nation is the only nation that is suffering from division for 66 years. The root cause of Korea's division is the U.S. forces occupation of South Korea. After the Second World War, the Korean issue was disposed of according to the interests of the big powers, and the U.S. troops landed on South Korea on September 8, 1945, under the pretext of disarmament of Japan. It was less than one month after Korea was liberated from more than 40-year-long colonial rule of the Japanese imperialists. Even before the joy of liberation calmed down, the United States concluded unequal agreements and treaties with traitorous South Korean rulers and on this basis established a political and military ruling system in South Korea. The U.S. forces' occupation of South Korea was aimed at expanding their power to the whole of the Korean peninsula and furthermore establishing the U.S. domination over the Asia-Pacific region. To this end, the United States provoked the Korean War in June 1950. As it suffered repeated bitter failures in the three-year-long Korean War, the United States signed an armistice agreement and has kept the U.S. forces in South Korea under the mask of the U.N. forces. It has deployed huge aggressive forces and many nuclear weapons in South Korea and watched for a chance of invasion, persistently escalating tension on the Korean peninsula. It is clearly proved by the Ulti Freedom Guardian joint military exercises staged by the United States and the South Korean army from August 16th involving huge armed forces. The United States has obstructed Korea's reunification in every way, meddling in the internal affairs of the Korean nation. It created an obstacle to the Korean people's independent reunification movement, which progressed fast since June 2000 and drove the inter-Korean relations to the worst crisis. It is a recognized fact that the United States is the mastermind of the division of the Korean peninsula. At present, Cold War was terminated in the world and the anti-U.S. sentiments for independence increased in South Korea. It is a unanimous aspiration of the entire Korean people to reunify the country independently and peacefully. The U.S. forces have no ground to remain in South Korea any longer. Withdrawal of the U.S. forces from South Korea is fundamental demand of Korea's reunification. All the Korean people will continue national reunification movement by themselves to terminate U.S. forces occupation of South Korea and surely build a powerful reunified nation.